If you've been fortunate enough to pick up one of the higher powered foam dart blasters on the market, you've undoubtedly seen the packages of half darts on the shelf next to the blaster. And you're probably familiar with the idea that half darts, what used to be called Stefans, just perform better. But why do they work better? Which is to say, why are they more accurate while traveling further? Unlike a bullet or a paintball, a Nerf dart has a tail. Like an arrow shot from a bow, force travels through the body of the dart in an effort to move the tip. The force traveling through the dart is called axial force. When this force exceeds the stiffness of the dart, it flexes or buckles. The tail moves out of alignment with the tip and drags on the air. Accuracy suffers. Now none of this matters over much if you're using a blaster that shoots 50 to 70 feet per second. But Adventure Force has a product that, right off the shelf, exceeds the axial load of the average Nerf dart. A lot of the math that I'm using comes from H. O. Mayer's paper, Applications of Physics to Archery, 2015, Indiana University. In this paper, an equation comes up, which is the force that a column, a long narrow column, can withstand before it warps, or buckles. This P crit value is equal to pi squared times the stiffness, say our foam for example, divided by the length squared. Now the upshot of this is that if you double the stiffness, you're going to double the critical value, how much force our column can withstand before it buckles. But if you half the length, you quadruple the amount of force this P crit is before our column buckles. You can see how this would be desirable from a manufacturing standpoint. The astute observer will notice that this applies to springers, but not necessarily flywheels, who conventional wisdom would have you believe that full lengths are better for. Maybe another time. Going back to the darts, why should length matter? Think of it in the same way as breaking a twig. Longer twigs take less force to break than shorter twigs with the same diameter. This is because the equation force equals work times distance. Less distance to travel, less work gets done. It's the same for darts. If it came down to stiffness alone, ultra darts would be a lot more highly regarded because say what you want about them, they are pretty firm, at least in the front part. Maybe we can talk about that another time, but for now it's enough to know that stiffness is not the only factor. And as for ultra darts, half darts tip up on their front edge because their forward of center is way towards the front. This affects momentum, or the distance the dart would travel. You can test this very simply by laying darts flat on a table. So there you have it. Increased accuracy due to increased maximum load and increased distance due to more favorable forward of center numbers improving momentum. As for the color, I like the red ones. 